Yo, what's going on Team Pokey Colors family? Welcome to today's video. I'm at Pokemon Regionals here downtown Indianapolis, heading to the venue now. Uh, not really sure where I'm going to be honest, but I'll uh, update you guys once we get inside. Um, shouldn't be too long here, so hopefully you enjoy. Let's get, let's get uh, right into it. Yo, this place is actually insane. Uh, I've got some good deals on some cards, but uh, I gotta do some more side events. I gotta get some more points to see the points wall because they got a bunch of goodies up there. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the B-roll. I don't think I'm able to record, or at least it doesn't seem like it. So if I'm gonna record, I'm gonna try to do it kind of inconspicuously a little bit, just cause I don't know how people are without, you know, with recording and such, but yeah, super pumped. I got about three more hours for day one. Going to try to do some more side events, get some more points to hopefully uh, get some more stuff off the points wall. So, yeah, here we go. What's going on, guys? Day two of regionals where I'm actually competing, um, running the Charizard deck. We'll see how we do. I'll see if I can film my matchups. I don't know how people will like that or not, so I might have to refrain, but I'll definitely let you know how it goes after the fact. Uh, I'm walking here to the venue, so hopefully, hopefully get some wins. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we do. Masters, that is time in round five. TCG Masters, that is time in round number five. Team Pokey Colors family, we not only went to Pokemon Regionals as a collector, but as a player as well. Um, super, super great experience. Honestly, I can't believe that I even competed in the literal most largest Pokemon Regional ever. Like, to, I guess, I guess this weekend's Regionals for 3,008 players competing total set a record for the most amount of people in a Regional ever, which is cool. And uh, I ended up actually getting a couple wins. So I didn't go 0 and 3 and completely get washed across the board. I actually um, used a deck that I was able to win with, which was awesome. And I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Bidoof for hooking me up. Go follow him on Twitter. He's huge into the TCG scene. So if you want to um, learn more about the TCG or, you know, just want to give him a follow for helping me actually achieve my dreams because I, I just wanted to play, you know, I just want to play, have fun, have a good time. And I sure as heck did. So in this last part of this video, I'm just going to be going over the stuff that I picked up at the regional event. So that includes packs, uh, sealed, uh, plushies, um, cards, you know, all, all the good stuff. So uh, let's let's get right into it and see what I ended up bringing home. So first thing you might notice off the side here, I got a Latios plushie. I wanted to find a Latios, but I couldn't find one. So uh, we got we got one Latios plushie or... Uh, the background in the future this is from japan uh yeti gaming um shout out to them i got them i got that i got this from them i think uh, but this is from japan and apparently dude like latios latios are super hard to find in plush format at these events like there was only a few of these and i actually ended up getting the last latios they had no latios anywhere to be seen so i at least got one of my favorite pokemon so super pumped about that also did some side events and Got some points in which I redeemed for a Professor Juniper's um, box. I could have went with 
I could have went with like a Blastoise VMAX box, but I looked that up online. It's only worth like 30 bucks or so. This is like one of the first milk cartons, I think, after Marnie, I'm pretty sure. And this actually has like three Brilliant Stars, two Fusion Strike, like one Evolving Skies, and I think some Chilean Rain Packs. So a good variety. So I'm going to save this for a future video, future opening, because I am going to be moving soon again, like I said. So I got to pack up everything in the background and everything else in, in the place. So I'm going to record a video, edit, upload, and schedule this one to be released when I'm in the process of packing and moving everything. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. Um, or subscribe if you haven't done so already in general. You don't even have to be new. You could be watching these videos for a long time and never have subscribed. That's cool. Um, but yeah, there's seven packs in this thing, so super pumped about that. Also, for Le Sealed Collection, um, let me grab it here. I managed to score a beautiful Team Up Blister Pack. Um, there's a vendor that had a few of these, and I got the nicest looking one. I wanted to get the Gengar Mimic U pack art, but it had like a huge dent going across right here, like it was bent up. You know, imagine that being bent inward. So I didn't get that, but I did get this one. So this is going to be going in the sealed collection in the background for um, a very long time. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll do a, a, a pack opening of Team Up one day if I'm able to get enough packs. But yeah, super cool. I guess I could just fill up the background with this stuff here. Also managed to pick up a super old school uh, Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders theme deck from Troll and Toad. Troll and Toad was there. They had a... Uh, a lot of actually they had a few other old school theme decks uh mostly from like base set 2 era uh, but they had a few diamond and pearl so for this this one for like 30 bucks i'm like dude that's a steal and what i ended up actually doing was i took in um a binder full of just like random v's v max um ex v max v star you know those types of cards that we pull on the channel that are worth a buck or two or three um and they ended up buying a decent chunk of those so i actually was able to go and get some more cool stuff while i was there at the regional event so super awesome super glad that i picked that up it'll go great with my rcs theme deck which um is actually tucked away in storage because it's my <sighs> i need more i need more space for my backgrounds here but either way um and then before we get to the singles um also got this regional coin uh super cool honestly this was like the only thing i wanted to get outside of um you know any cool cards or packs or anything like this was the main um thing that i wanted the most you know being that it's like oh it's a regional coin like it's pretty cool uh these are surprisingly thick and they're surprisingly big uh probably about the same size as one of those big coins you get in the premium collection boxes nowadays but there's the regional coin and look how thick that is dude that thing like and it's full metal so it's very heavy literally could use it as a paperweight if you wanted like i don't know if you heard that but it slammed pretty well um but yeah man super super cool coin got the date or at least the year on it and the regional event and the stamp and the it's just i don't know i like i like that kind of stuff a little regional coin-esque um also got some like other swag like a regional playmat which i will grab because it's on the floor and i ended up using this today during my tournament so i actually can say that i played this uh, actually say that i played this in a regional event but yeah there it is pretty cool now i got a regional play mat to my name um and yeah also i did i did ring toss they had a ring toss game there and uh basically what you do is you get these like side event tickets which you can redeem for like double points and stuff like that and i did ring toss because it was like one one ticket and it was like super cheap and i actually ended up scoring like a ton of a ton of paradox rift packs like i hit a multiplier so i got like six and then you got a pack per turn if you didn't score any packs so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine packs what is that nine times four is 36 right so no nine times four is not 36 never mind i was gonna say oh it's a quarter of a booster box i can't i can't do math it's fine um but yeah this is gonna be another separate video uh, coming up in the near future because I am re trying. Well, I'm I'm trying to do Paradox Rift uh, Master Set Binder again. I sold off most of my illustration rares and big hits from the, the binder, and I'm like, man, I shouldn't have done that. So we're gonna try it again, um, but it's okay because a lot of the cards that I sold at the time are cheaper now, which is even better. 
And now to the big grand finale of what kind of cards I was walking away with from the event. Um, a lot of a lot of neat ones, some for the master sets, some for just personal collection sake, and some for long-term investment holding. And we'll get to that in a moment. But needed this one for my 151 master set, so pick that up for a great price. Um, come on, man. Unknown VL Dart. I had one of these a while ago, sold it for like 30 bucks or something and bought this one for like 15 so we love those um got a ray 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 quasi v max trainer gallery um future video about this guy and some others coming up in the near future as well so hit the subscribe got an rcs v which i needed for my brilliant stars master set or completed set and this is one of the um ultra arts i've put off for a long time so i got him because i'm like i need it and if I wait, it's going to go up in price. Next up, Pikachu V Trainer Gallery. I need this one for my Trainer Gallery mat or Trainer Gallery completed set. I don't have any duplicates of this, unfortunately, at this point. But I'd like to get some more because I really like this artwork. Next up, oh, hey. Familiar face. Great Quasi V Max, of course. Um, next up, Tapu Koko EX. This was like a, I think this was like a $50 card when Tapu Koko was popping off in the uh, Maridon deck. But now... This card was like 12 bucks. I'm like, dude, that's a steal. Like, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. This one just pops, man. Like, look at the colors on that. So that's going to go in the Paradox Rift binder, which, you know, honestly, I could pull one of these from the Paradox Rift packs. Um, and if I do, then great. I'll have another one. Uh, next up, uh, Dolive. Just a random $2 card because I needed to get a, um, I don't know. I had two bucks left. So this is what I spent the last $2 on. And then we got a Pikachu V Max. Super cool. I have now three of these bad boys. So another video on Pikachu V Max coming in the future. And then we got the um, promo card that they gave out to everyone that was, I think, I don't know if they give these to spectators or just players, but there's the regional card. Explorer's Guidance. Um, yeah, super cool. Little regional stamp on that. Doesn't say where the regional's from, unfortunately. It just says regional. So you kind of have to look them up and know where they were from. And they had other ones there too, but they were all like cards like this, like the modern ones. And I'm just like, I didn't go to those regionals. I don't really care. And then lastly, to tie it all off, we got a OG birthdays, Pi or so-and-so's Pikachu, birthday Pikachu. Super pumped to have pulled, or not pulled, but gotten this. Um, it's got a swirl by the cake, which is cool. And it's in actually pretty great shape. Um, I might consider grading it, honestly like it's got a shot at probably like a seven and honestly that's fine like i it's a birthday pikachu man like i don't care what grade it is i mean this this is this is one of those cards where i wanted to buy one back in like 2019 before the big boom and it was like a i think it was like a 30 or 40 dollar card then um so the, uh, well looking at it it's got some little indents right there so they might grade this a six but they I don't know, they probably will see that, but either way, I'll probably just keep them ungraded for the binder or my little display case if I ever decide to get one. But yeah, super cool, super happy with the pickups, of course. Um, probably my favorite one has to be the regional coin, honestly, because I mean, where else are you going to get a regional coin? And funny enough, I actually looked on eBay for some other regional coins, like from other regional events, and nobody's really selling these on eBay. Or at least from when I get searched, I couldn't find anything. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But that's that's my haul. Um, I'll go over my deck for those of you who care. Um, ran a Charizard deck. Talk a little bit about the the experience. I went 0 and 2, thinking I was gonna completely brick and uh, lose like 0 3, just be done for the day. But I went uh, 2 2, so I won two in a row, and then my round five game ended in a loss i was just obliterated um so here's a little overview of my deck uh, basically just basic charizard list um nothing too crazy about it um there's two two rows which is usually different and um use a prime catcher which is super super helpful uh that's like a 30 dollar trainer card a spec because it's so playable right now um, and then, yeah, honestly, it's just a kind of a basic Charizard deck, but there's a few different modifications to the trainers that I think have helped a lot. 
So again, shout out to my boy Bidoof for helping me out. And um, I'm hoping to run this deck some more in person. Maybe try to find a Pokemon League Cup where I can win some booster packs or booster boxes. Because now that I've competed at the like high, highest, one of the highest stages, being that it's regionals, like I'm like, okay, I know how to run this deck now. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out like, you know, what counters to work towards and figure out to go like, figure out what counters I need to go up against. You know, um, that was a lot of my issues today. Like I just haven't practiced with this deck enough online, especially like I've only gone against Charizard pretty much online and in person, I haven't really run it at all. So I lost to Chin Pao the first round. Um, round two, I lost to... Let me think, what was it? It was like an Arceus V-Star. Or no, yeah, some Arceus V-Star with some other crazy... It was um, Iron Treads, Thorns, Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves, that's who it was. And if you get Iron Leaves powered up, it one shots a charge on because of the weakness being grass, so... That was awful. Um, and then the next two wins I had were both Charizard decks. And then my round five was somebody who was running like Iron Crown, Iron Leaves, Iron Thorns, Iron Hands, like all the irons. So otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know how to counter those. Those are, those are tricky. They're very tricky. But overall, I had a great time. And I encourage anybody that wants to go to one, if you have one coming up locally, like even if you're not a player, Spectator Pass, Get some cool stuff. I uh, got to meet Danny Fant up there and uh, ran into some people from my early days of playing in like local league challenges and such. So that was cool. And yeah, overall, had a great time and got to add some awesome, cool sealed product and cards to my collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and be on the lookout for a Pokemon Card Deals of the Week video coming very soon because I missed last week preparing for regionals. So I apologize. But we're going to catch back up with the deals. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff has happened in the last week. Buyouts and everything. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.